plan is to have the first uh, Made in India H125s uh, rollout of the assembly line in 2026. The H125 is a benchmark single engine helicopter for the Indian and the neighboring countries market. Our plan is to set up the final assembly line for the single engine H125 helicopter in India together with Tata. The, this FAL will actually produce the H125 which will already be YASA certified and that is because the quality assurance and the airworthiness assurance is being taken care of by experts from Airbus helicopters that will be located at the FAL site in India. The H125 is a benchmark single engine helicopter for the Indian and the neighboring countries market because of its performance in high altitude uh, environments. The H125 is used across segments from commercial air transportation to corporate missions, VVIP missions, as well as uh, aerial work. That's because of the performance of this, uh, of this helicopter. Okay, um, and uh, we, the, uh, what else you want me to tell When and where? Uh, yes, so the, the plan is to have the first uh, Made in India H125s uh, roll out of the assembly line in 2026, right? Uh, that's, that's the plan. We're working with Tata, um, and this helicopter can be, can be purposed for many different missions, and that's why it's a very versatile helicopter. We spoke about it earlier, the different segments where it can be used. Uh, in India and Nepal, if I just look at these two markets, there are more than 60 H125s already flying, and we believe that this final assembly line will act as a catalyst for the Indian market, and we will see para-public service segments, which will which, which actually bring value to the masses of the country. Uh, they will be able to uh, to benefit from from helicopters as a whole. An economic impact uh, of India and also Mission is building. part of scale in India. And, uh, so definitely, this is part of our Make in India initiative. You know, we, that's that's definitely is going to be a strong boost to that. Uh, we believe that helicopters are a big part of uh, nation building because they act as tools uh, that can that can make a difference to the lives of the people uh, and. Uh, then the FAL is an emblematic step to actually catalyze the market and also bring benefits to local customers who will now no longer have to import this H125 from abroad. Okay, They can pay in Indian rupees and, and from a regulatory point of view also since there is no importation involved, there will be financial benefits for operators buying this helicopter made in India. Is the order of uh, getting from India are corporate orders or? Uh... There, we have all kinds of missions that this H125 is being used in, uh, starting from charter operations to VVIP missions uh, and for aerial work. So it's a versatile machine and we see uh, demand for all these kinds of helicopters. Since the beginning of my career, I was trained on the H125, which was previously named uh, AS350, which is different versions, like the, the first engines on the version B. And now we have the version B3E, with the most powerful engine. Um, in close to 4,000 fly hours on that type of helicopter, I've never experienced any single failure. Uh, it's a very reliable product. I could use it for many different operations in the mountains, uh, in the far and remote area, and in obviously as well in the, in the southern Pacific. And if you talk about safety features, because uh, so many accidents in past also, and the latest version is very nice because we have a new glass cockpit uh, dashboard and that's a very useful tool for the for the pilots on the terms of safety we have a complete awareness of the external situation when the weather is the deteriorating for example and um, I think the availability of this helicopter is amazing because we can fly 150 hours without seeing any major maintenance uh, schedule. So yeah, this is a love helicopter for most of the pilots in the world.